Hi everybody, today I was going to do a video on Heather Green but I've ordered some bits and pieces to make the walkways, the infill sections and the forefoot of the track to cover the join in the boards. So, uh, what could I do? Well, one thing I wanted to look at was the Lens V100 as you remember from the previous video. I did a video a long time ago about uh, the Daypole Terrier on Pico set track curves and buffer locking and all that malarkey. So I've decided to do a little video here to show the lens coupling system and how it copes with the Pico set track radiuses because if it works nicely it will make life simpler for playing with uh, the O gauge on a train set format as it were. And it also makes life easier for me if I want to set something up outside in the garden or whatever due to radiuses and curves because I don't have a big garden here possibility for the future. So it means we've got to get on the floor. Shock horror. Sounds like Sam's trains and people will be writing in. Well, doubt it really but you know there was always the option complaining that oh, playing with trains on the carpet it's only a test, I'm not playing with them all the time on the carpet. This is purely because I have no room anywhere else to uh, set this little track up. So what I have is basically a short straight where I've set the train up on and three curves in a wiggle just to see the articulation of the couplings and whether the auto coupler couples and uncouples with much aggravation obviously a lot easier if it does because screw couplings and three link couplings on uh, pico curves is a bit restrictive so anyway let's have a look at this on the floor and see what we come up with
there we have it. All works. The coupling, or recoupling rather than the uncoupling, is a slight hit and miss. A couple of videos I haven't used clips of are a little bit sketchy with the hooking up, but it does nonetheless with this size loco. It's a medium sized Bobo loco on the S Benz with short ish wheelbase wagons, longer than the British wheelbase wagons to say the least, work relatively well. Uncoupling, no problems at all. I was expecting it maybe a bit tight and it wouldn't like it, but it has uncoupled it. So this means better options for a, a railway in my bit of garden that I could accommodate it in without taking over the entire garden and making it awkward. So, possibilities for the future indeed. On that note, Enjoy your hobbies, whatever they may be, and we'll play trains again soon. See you later. Bye-bye.